Okay folks, welcome back. In this lesson we're gonna be just uh, trying to keep our scene as organized as possible because as you go and as you add different objects and different elements you really really need to make sure your scene is as organized as possible. Now there is no rule so you just uh, make the scene uh, the way you feel comfortable with. There is no rule, absolutely no rule. You know I've done this project about seven months ago I think something like that and when I come back uh, you know, to kind of create this uh, to, a series of tutorial. It took me about really 30 minutes, uh, maybe less than that, to figure out what I have done and what I kind of approach the uh, whole uh, project because I try to make sure uh, and be as organized as possible. So uh, please, 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 please uh, make sure you keep your scene very organized. Try to layer them, try to name them appropriately. Let's go ahead and quickly create uh, a few layer. I'm just gonna uh, create this layer that's gonna be the room and the furniture and everything else. Let's create a new layer and I'm gonna name it, double click on that. That's gonna be our camera and another layer that's gonna be you know our scene stuff for example the background if we have some sky elements or stuff like that so let's go to scene and I just want to be more vibrant color so I'm gonna that's exactly the same color doesn't matter and okay now the room so if you wanted to make sure that everything in this hierarchy will be added to this layer just select the parent hold on control and drag it under this layer as you can see if you uh, hold on control and click on this everything has been added including the tags so now the camera, we just uh, drag that into the camera. Looks like we have misspelled it. There we go. And the scene, let's go to this background and put it here. Now that's enough for the moment. And uh, you can see we have these geometries and we have the sofa, we got these walls and I think we are ready to start actually adding our first dynamic elements. So uh, in this lesson we learned how to how the importance actually of keeping our scene as organized as possible. Now in the next lesson what we're going to be doing is to try and uh, uh, make our first dynamic simulation. Uh, basically in the next lesson we're going to uh, design the elements that we are going to be using in our uh, first dynamic system. Uh, you know a few spheres, uh, different materials and uh, another a kind of cubicle shape that will be added to our first dynamic simulation. We're going to be uh, creating them, okay, uh, and uh, model them, some, you know, sphere and some cubes, and also create the materials uh, that's going to be a bit more complicated. We're going to be doing them in the next lesson.